hammerheads. Do you know what, right? I've sat down here and I forgot my bloody can. I'm going to have to go to the bloody kitchen and get one, aren't I? Be right back, hammerheads. Make up your mind where you want to be and how long you want to be there. Jesus wept, man. She's in the kitchen, she's in the bedroom, she's in the hall, she's in the living room. She's followed me around like I'm, I'm on heat or something. Well, that's a bit weird because I'm a male and she's a female. Mm. How can she be on heat anyway? She's been done years ago. Anyway, hammerheads. I've got two guitars here. Here's mine, right? Um, it's not a bad, um, bad one, this, but it's really, really out of tune. I try to do a Tony Iommi thing and modify it like he does with his guitar, but it didn't work really. And this one is my girlfriend's Jambuglas. She's left it in my trusting hands to look, look after it for I'm babysitting her baby. That's what she calls it. I've never really had a little a go at this. I'm gonna have a little bash at it because this one's actually in tune. I tried to plug it into my amplifier earlier on, but I don't know, something went wrong. See, we'll probably have a jamming session on Wednesday because she's coming round for three days and three nights, you see. You know, I wrote a song, but I can't remember the words. Something like this, anyway. I'll do an instrumental version of it. I wish I knew what the words were again. Never mind. You know what, right? Black Sabbath, yeah? Black Sabbath. I mean, I think they formed in 1968 or was it 69? And um, they used to be called Still Earth. They had to change that name because it wasn't really good. I mean, let's face it, they wouldn't have gained worldwide success with a name like that would the but Black Sabbath. They got it from an old horror film. <laughs> Probably a hammer one and all. Maybe he's not. Might have been in a, a Mickey. What what was the what was Hammer's rival back then? Amicus. Hmm. Might have been one of them, I don't know. Anyway, could be wrong altogether. Might have been totally obscure kind of thing. But you know, the very last day at work, right, Tony Iommi, cruel twist of fate this, he was like a machinist, you know, worked in this metal company and that, <laughs> quite apt for what he went on to do, is it? But he accidentally chopped the tips of his friggin' fingers off, didn't he? Well, he'd that hand rather, because he's left-handed. And, you know, he was due to finish his job that day to form a bloody heavy metal band. Black Sabbath, obviously. Or Still Earth. And he chops his bloody fingers off. And he thought, what the hell am I going to do? So he made these bloody tips, right? Out of fairy washing up liquid bottles. Put them on his stumps. And he thought, oh, this is working quite well. But um, he had to have his guitar modified. 
so the strings are a lot slacker so we can you know play it better and you know I know it sounds a bit um, stupid this but thank God he had that accident because if he didn't Black Sabbath may never have been as popular you know what I mean because it's his guitar sound that really generated massive fucking popularity and audiences and all that his riffs I mean for instance right because well think of it like whoa. let me think of a song well symptom of the universe right da 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 that note does not exist on the conventional guitar. I mean, like, da 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 da. I mean, this is the the lowest bloody note, the top E string, right? And that's like, it wasn't like, it was like, da 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 da. -da. So that's you know, his, his guitar was torn down and all that. Still in tune, but modified for his purposes. Because he had plastic fingertips, didn't he? And heads. <laughs> Aye, great band them were. Original in every sense. They probably invented heavy metal as we know it. Or as we knew it. Because these new heavy metal bands are bloody rubbish, man. They don't know what a guitar solo is. You know what it is, right? You know something? The other night, right, I had the Kerrang! channel on for a while. Just out of curiosity, I was busy on my laptop, blah de blah de blah, and I thought, no, may I put that on, see what comes on, see what, you know, what, I'm not really interested in what's new and all that, because I prefer old school rock, mm, especially 70s. Them guys knew the stuff you see, <coughs> drum solos. <coughs> Guitar solos, great bass lines, great songwriting. That's a thing of a past, though, isn't it? I was anyway watching Kerrang! and Arts on the background. Had it on for two hours, right? It was driving us bloody mental in the end because every song that come on sounded just like the last one previously. Three minutes long at the longest. No guitar solos whatsoever. None. Nothing. Singers sounded all... Well, they all sounded identical. They all had, like, short spike, yeah. They all looked the bloody... I'm sure. Right, they were all the same band. Honestly. A bit like boy bands, like Boyzone and, and Five and, and Blue and... and um, bloody all the rest of them, you know what I mean, take that and that, fake twat and so they're all the same band. All the members from Boyzone are actually in Take That. They just disguise themselves a little bit. Because why do they sound exactly the bloody same as them? Same dance routines and all anyway <laughs> tangents. We talk about Black Sabbath here. That's what modern rock music is come to it's Rubbish, man. Rubbish. Crap. They don't even dress properly anymore. I remember, right, in 1980, the new wave of British heavy metal explosion. I was, I'm proud to say I was part of that. You know what I mean? The skin tight drain pipe jeans, the trainers, the bullet belt, the studded wristbands, the skin tight t shirts. With the sleeves up to there, you know. I used to think my hair was dead long because it was like down there. <laughs> now it's only 14 in 1980. Sorry, 13 I was. I had my denim jacket with the sleeves ripped off and I had a great big, massive, gigantic, enormous, huge, whopping, immense Saxon patch on the back of my jacket, dominating the rest of it. I wasn't even a big Saxon fan. And then there was Samson, Motorhead, you know, all these bloody bands. Oh, Black Sabbath was there somewhere. Definitely, they had to be. Because they were the forerunners, really, weren't they? The prototype, if you like. Mm. And, um, yeah, great band, then.
My favourite Black Sabbath album, right, is from 1975. Sabotage. Yeah, few people would disagree with that. But you can tell when that album come out that, oh, they're all off the faces, they're all bloody on the verge of breakdowns or what have you. And just look at the, what they're bloody dressed. How they're dressed on the freaking sleeve, man. I mean, what the fuck is Ozzy Osbourne wearing on that cover? <laughs> and Bill Ward, the drummer, and his red friggin' tights with his Y front showing and that. <laughs> Maybe he felt comfortable drumming like that, I don't know, but the only normal per the normal looking person on that cover is Tony Iommi. And he's bloody sat down <laughs> for no reason. Yeah. yeah, Black Sabbath. Kings of heavy metal, I'd say. Ooh. And if you want to argue with that, reach me on this number. All double nine eight five six five seven three. One million. One thousand. One million. 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 That's a good angle of the arm, going up at that surface, 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 Oh, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Ozzy Osbourne left in 1978, didn't he? Or 79, rather. The last album they did with him was Never Say Die. It's a bit of controversy about that. How he left, why he left. Some say he was sacked. Some say they just, he left. I don't know. He, nobody knows a full story, do they? But anyway... Sharon Osborne discovered him living like a bum in his LA bloody friggin' apartment. Pizza boxes all over the place. And he's like, What the fuck you wanna employ me for? I'm fucking rubbish, mate. And if it wasn't for her, he wouldn't have had, like, a second stab at a rock career. So. Thanks to Sharon. I've always liked her anyway, you know what I mean? She's, um, she knows her stuff. She knows a hell of a lot about music. <laughs> anyway, have a heads. The best, um, my personal favourite Ozzy Osbourne album was Diary of a Madman, the second one. Reminds me of South Africa. And that's not why I love it. Because I hate that bloody country. I lived there for 15 months. It's full of Nazis and everything, man. But I just love that. Um... <laughs> There's a documentary on here about Tracy Andrews. You know, that mad blonde bitch who murdered a lad for no reason and all that and b blamed it on road rage. <laughs> That's neither here nor there, is it, though, hammerheads? Anyway, Black Sabbath, great band, my girlfriend's guitar, really good, brilliant semi-acoustic Ibanez, well in tune, listen to mine. <laughs> really out of tune, isn't it? Anyway, hammerheads, I'm off, because if I bore you anymore, I'm going to bore myself to death and all. Oh, God die, Hammerheads. <laughs>